83rd annual Georgia-Florida football rivalry brought in over 83,000 fans to Everbank Field in Jacksonville, Florida this year. The economic impact of the game brought over $33.3 million to the surrounding areas. The game and festivities surrounding the event have been dubbed the world's largest cocktail party, and one major leg of this tradition extended to St. Simons Island, transforming East Beach into the infamous Brat Beach. Students and fans alike from the reaches of Athens, Georgia, down to Jacksonville, Florida, have made the pilgrimage to St. Simons for years, with an estimated 10,000 hotel rooms occupied and an economic boost to the island. With the combined effort of the Glenn County City Commissioners and the Glenn County Police Department, authorities have enacted a zero-tolerance policy for underage drinking and misbehavior this year. Keep Golden Isles is beautiful there as well to ensure the mass amount of trash is put in its proper place in order to curb any negative environmental impact. As for the conjoined efforts to curb any ruckus, the party may have been subdued but buzzed along. The Crow's Nest attended the infamous Frat Beach to let people know what it was like to be there. deterrence from the police. I think it's nice. I think they've done a good job to deter party goers, but it's f***ed up because the businesses are down, reservations are down 30%. 30% yeah. They have a winter month to go through. It's pretty ridiculous that you're going to screw over the local business owners, but it's in the name of justice. God bless America. And go dogs. And Mr. Quote Jenkins unquote was correct. Participation in the event was down exponentially from other years. There's only a handful of arrests, only a few medical emergencies, and zero deaths. Yes, people have died at this event in previous years. But as you saw, people still got down. They're still boogied. They're still let loose. So do you think with these extra measures, this is the end of Frat Beach? I guess we shall see.